שלום, שלום, רעש דפאברי, הנה רעש דינוס דפאברי, הנה כהן דניאל. אוקיי, בואו נראה, סייגווי, from some of the other um, topic matters, even though still besides the object lesson, um, the individual and individuals who have, who we already have named, uh, uh, heretical um, position like Aries, so forth, and so on, anti-Trinitary, we'll, you know, the best thing about that, and we give thanks first and foremostly to Abba, the Father, in the name of Getachin, Metanetachin, Metane Alem, Jesus Christus, Jesus Christus, Shuha Moshiach. And then, indirectly, we even give thanks to the individuals, the old stand, who have um, challenged the truth, or who have denied the old stand the truth. Um, whether they're doing it, we assume ignorantly, but it seems that they might be doing this willingly, but, you know, John, you know, John knows, you know, in Yagin, but as far as I and I, we have to be about I and I Father's business, but we have to know His will, and this is why it was very, um, we give thanks that we're able to go over, um, yeah, yeah, Hymenos, our living faith, the high or high Amenot, the Hymenot, the Hymenot, Meseret, Meseret, the foundation of I and I faith, which is the creed. And not just to um, read it or speak it absentmindedly, not just to deep end on the English um, translation only. And when we say learning Amharic, we're not just so much talking about as good is and, and even with the Hebrew and the and the Septuagint, so called Greek. We're not speaking about to learn it to um, in the sense of speaking it to impress other people or to feel better about I and myself. We say, I learned this, I know this. No, knowledge pops up, but it's you know, it, it, it's the charity, it's the love of John that edifies and what learning the language allows us to do. It's like with our, our hearing the word, and, and you're hearing the word, and, and, and reading the word. You know, since there's many ones and ones out there, you know, there's who, who are about Bible, and they'll read the Bible, you know, understand? But it's not just reading the Bible, you know, understand? But it's, it's learning the word. Remember the process, you have to hear the word. You understand? And hearing the word doesn't just mean in, in this particular ministry only. You understand? Because once, the first thing really is repent. That's the first thing. That's the foundation. You will hear us say it continually over and over. And those who have repented, like turned around from their way to walk Jah's way, to walk Yah's way, to walk Abba's way. You understand? We say that Kedamawi Pila Shalase, Hala Shalase, the first is our Godfather. And, and, and King of Kings, then we should learn his teaching, you know, and the teaching of his majesty. We should learn his way. We should learn his will. So we as good, obedient children, you understand, know, can receive that blessing. You know, and, and that blessing is not just, you know, like somebody sends you a gift and there goes this package and no. It, 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 is, it is life, you understand, and life more abundantly in and through the Moshiach, you understand, Yeshua, who is the Bain Ha Elohim. Don't make any mistake about it. I mean, some people want to be willingly ignorant or they want to gamble or try a thing. It's not for I and I, the Rastafari society, the line of Judah society of the imperial majesty. We're, we're not gambling. You understand? Know we're, we're not speculating. You understand? Know we're not playing around with words or doting about or meaning. So we're saying, well, this means this. Check out this. Refer to this. Now when you look at the big picture, see how clear it becomes that can help I and I move forward in faith and full confidence. You understand? Know not dowdy, not pouty. You understand? Know not, not novices. You understand? Know but to grow up. You understand? Know but when we're born again, we are little children. 
be your wisdom. We should not despise that small beginning, as the scripture says to I and I. But right now, we need to get all hands on deck. You know what I'm saying? We need to really get all hands on deck. But the Holy Spirit has, has um, I would say revealed, but really clarified to I and I, based on, you know, the administrative, the stewardship activity. So, you know, there's some guys out there who want to maybe debate on Bible here there, but they're not really, you know, they're not really walking the walk, living the walk, not really uplifting their fellow brothers and sisters. It's, it's, a, it's an intellectual thing. And that's what we said we were there. We, we've been there, we've done that. You see, if one want to practice, practice on people who, you know, practice on those fools. Because if one's and one's, <laughs> you see, one's going to have to have, um, you know, all the knowledge and all the books and have read through or lived my particular walk, you know, my halakha or, or the way I've walked and gone through my experience. You know, if one doesn't have the spirit, you know, saying the manifest condition, you need those two witnesses. What are those two witnesses? One needs the spirit of God in Christ. We should say the Isla Iris of his majesty. You understand? One needs that Holy Spirit. You understand? And some don't have that. And when we speak about spirit, make no mistake about it. We're speaking about that which some heathen and sheathen or some potential brothers and sisters would call all supernatural. Alice Lafayette, he says the supernatural is a false concept. Prove it to me. Okay, these are the speeches that prove it. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I and I agree. Amen, I amen. I mean. Okay, um, uh, where's the supernatural part and the false concept part? I, I didn't see this yet. And so one is interpolating. So we're not, you know, like we said, we're not playing games, you know. Um, I and I life, you understand? And I and I eternal life. You understand? Is, is, is what is in the balance. Let's recognize. Some folks don't recognize that. I don't, like I said, I can, I'm not going to speak against one. Like like the word says that, you know, if a, if a brethren is overtaken in the fall, then those of you who are spiritual, you know what I'm saying, seek to restore him. But, but we also have to um, 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 check ourselves. You know what I'm saying? At least we be overtaken. You know, at least we, we get too caught up on that. That's what we try to sum that up. Coming full forward, you understand, to the foundation of the living, of the living faith, of, of the faith of those who serve, right, praise and worship the God of the living, the God of Abraham, Yisrahat, and Yaakov the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. And I said black. Yes, I and I said that, you know, some folks, you know, we, we kind of dealt with that issue too. But it's important for us to recognize they dark. You see, some folks are stupid, viciously ignorant. You know We didn't say dark. We said black. There's a big difference. Black in the quote, end quote sense. Ethiopian like Tacitus, Cornelius Tacitus, he said the Jews of that particular time, circa 70 A.D., you understand, and that Tisha B'Av, destruction of the temple of Jerusalem, and the, the cutting down of that tree, you understand, until the coming of his majesty, and we'll deal with that prophecy as well. And so I said that prophecy, right, is, is, is really for the edifying, you understand? And only that tongues or languages can be um, edifying. And edification, you probably read it in your Bible. Some people will say we should not look up and go to the root of words. You know, we have to leave them to Jah or to their Satan or whatever that they're dealing with. Let them wrestle with themselves. You understand? Know we read the word edify. What we're supposed to think the word means? We're supposed to look it up. Get to the root of it. Get to the truth of it. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The truth shall set I and I free. Whom the Son has freed is free indeed. And you notice those who deny the sonship of Yeshua HaMashiach, they tend to have a lot of problems. 
No, I mean, it's serious. Now, some of y'all may be ones like that. Why well, just gave you the solution? His Majesty has given you and the whole world the solution. And still ones will say, well, a supernatural is false concept and rah, 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 rah. His Majesty say he wasn't Jesus, he wasn't Christ, um, he wasn't Jesus Christ. Look, listen to the interview. We listen to the interview. He warns us. Right about some philosophy, this emanation philosophy, right? Emanation philosophy. And when I came across that, I was like, what, what is he? This not you speaking of. I didn't know. So what I'm going to do? Make up my own stuff like, a, like some ones and ones, certain people do? No, I, I began to study, especially with the internet and Google and, 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 and the Google Books and all this other resource. I started to, you know, type in different words, emanation, deity, philosophy. And then I came across the whole um, so-called um, uh, Blavatsky, Helena Blavatsky, Alice Bailey, externalization of the hierarchy, phenomenon, the phenomenon touch, you understand, the Belial, you know, the Belial people religion and stuff like that, um, the Theosophists. You know, you know what the other, you know, we had spoke about that as well previously, but, but not to get into that at this time. What we want to speak about right here is that we need to move forward, right, as far as society, I and I, lines of society needs to move forward, you know, but then we need all hands on deck. And, and, and speaking about this, first of all, let us recognize that there are some brothers and sisters, even in some cases families, um, who are going through some really difficult times. You understand? I mean, all of us can say we're going through difficult times, but if we really, you know, weigh and, and, and measure using balance, you know what, what John said? That he's not liked because they did not balance and weigh the skills, you know, like in buying and selling and in trade, they would have imbalanced skills and everything. So we, it, it's not only just for that reason, for the natural reason, but also for the supernatural, the spiritual reason, we have to weigh and balance properly. So, true, a lot of us are going through great tribulation, or not just great just yet, we might feel great, you understand, know but we're going through different tribulation, you understand. Know but we have to recognize that we have to labor, as the scripture says, we labor to enter into His rest. Not my rest, not your rest, not the other um, mansion rest or other brother and brother or sister in over their rest. No, or some denomination of Christianity, this or that, or somebody. You hear some folks say, they say, well, I don't have to keep the Shabbat. I don't have to keep Saturday as the Sabbath. I make any day my Sabbath. Right, I, I hope you can keep your heart in peace. I hope you can rest yourself. I hope you can stay. Well, I'm not going to say I hope that, but I know that's not true. You know what I mean? You're not going to be able to. You know, but, you know, every man has the right to decide his you know, own destiny. You know, but, um, because in the judgment, there's no partiality. The skills are going to be weighed, you know, according against what the heart. That says a versus the heart. I mean, now, there's a whole teaching in, in Yeshua teaches us about the words, about our words. We want to teach on using our, pruning our words. We need to really prune our words. Because sometimes, or many times, we are cursing ourselves. Now, the issue that we are focusing towards is an issue that, you know, a lot of us like the subject matter. I'm not saying we love it. But some of us might be in love with it, and we need to repent. And we're speaking about money. You know what I'm saying? We're speaking about how John's word says that he gives us the power, right? He gives us the power for the ability to get well, to get well. You know, like get money. You know what I'm saying? So that he may establish his covenant, his al kidan his word, to establish his word agreement that he made with I and I ancestors. All right? So that's what's coming up. Brothers and sisters, please stay tuned for that. No doubt you'll see. We'll probably call it Rastafari and money. Do you understand? And, you know, um, but, but, but only the, 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 the sons and daughters, right, 
will be able to really access it. A lot of folks who like the subject man and say, now, nah, now you really are talking about the real thing now. <laughs> All right. You know, give thanks. Give thanks. But um, give thanks and praise. Right now we need to get all hands on deck. Get all hands on deck. Some hands may not be able to come to deck because something or someone, you, you, you know, maybe has decked them and knocked them out. You know what I mean? Sometimes we get touched back. We get a touch back or a setback for a moment or for a season. You know, um, we may have to endure a situation that is not copacetic. A couple of brothers and even sisters that we've been counseling um, recently. And this is when you start to know who has and what is really the real Wengale, the real um, uh, Misraj or Misraj, the real gospel of good news. You know, and when ones are going through tribulation and then you still are able to resource you understand what you have learned, what you have affirmed. You see, because what we learn that is true, we must affirm. We must amen. We must amen it. To use amen be Christ's name, Revelation 3.14. Now, don't get this kind of twisted with some of the Egyptology, you understand, because we're going to the root, you understand, of the God in Christ mystery. So we're going to our Ethiopic group. Um, so, and speaking about how the, there's different folks, right? Different brothers and sisters and different ones in different situations. We've spoken about the Prisoners Outreach Project, right? Um, but we have to be, we have to get organized, you understand, to um, fulfill, to do John's business. But there is real business that we have to do. So we have to learn what that business is and not just say, yeah, I and I are doing job works. Which works are you doing? Uh, you know, I'm doing this and making a look of something from their, you know, wife and shit. That's not job works. That, that's the work that you're supposed to do in that sort of situation. That's not John's work. Let's understand that that is your work and you should be doing it by the amen, the, the imnet, you know, send the, the, the subjective faith the faith that you receive, you know what I'm saying, in John and through John, you know what I'm saying, and may John bless you, you understand, you know what I'm saying, may the blessing of Yahweh, of the sustainer, be with you, and the response is, and may he bless you, you know what I'm saying, so may God be with you, may the sustainer be with you, that's the Amanuel blessing. You understand? May the sustainer be with I and I. So, some of our brothers and sisters are in this season right now willing and able to fellowship with I and I. You understand? Willing and able to. Um, and the fellowship, when you say that word fellowship in the New Testament, some folks don't go there, they just make up whatever they want to make up. But it, it said the word does say study and show thyself approved. Because if you don't study and you make up something, then you will be, um, what, disapproved? You might be reproved, you understand, or, you know, worse, you understand. So, so it, it, it is good, you understand, it is good to hear the word and to, to, to feel it and to come into obedience. And if that's difficult, then pray to Abba, Father, in the name of Geta Jesus Christos, Yeshua HaMoshiach for the strength, you understand, um, and to find a good fellowship. And, 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 and some of the brothers and sisters, I, I, I really will encourage this, that depends on the area that you, you're in, you can of course check it out. Find a good Ethiopian Orthodox Church, I, will, I, I would suggest, you understand, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church to, um, to attend. You understand, it don't have to be all the time, you understand, as the spirit so moves, you understand, but we need to, you know, keep that connection, because what the, Yeshua says that we are the light, you understand, I don't mean to go there and to prophesize and so forth, but so the old other thing, you know, it's, 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 the Holy Spirit will show you, you understand, but first you have to 
receive the Holy Spirit. And first you have to repent. You understand? You have to be born again. But it begins by that act of repentance, that act of metanoia, of having a change of mind. So we're calling for all hands on deck, all hands that are able at this time. If you're not able and, and you, you know, one would write or call, I really want to, but I see I'm in this situation and such and such and so forth and so on, and we're like, you know, there's no chicken yelling, chicken yelling. You know, there's, there's no problem. You know, I don't have a problem. It says, it says, it says uh, the harvest it is plentiful, but the laborers are few. It says to pray to the Adoni, to Ba'ot, to the Lord of hosts. You understand? That he would send laborers into his vineyard. Now that laborers, a few laborers, are coming forward to his vineyard, you understand, which is which is this work of the Lange Society within this mansion, instruction is necessary, tasking and assignment, and some basic details we have to go over, some instruction, some 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 building up, you understand, some 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 counsel or, or exhortation, you understand, needs to be given. This is why we went over um uh, chapter fourteen first is First Corinthians chapter 14 concerning language, but when we got into a churchical, a churchical application of it, you know, that's the fellowship application of it. Now, it's not just good enough to, you know, read the Bible, but we have to also be a, about the work. You know, so we're calling for all willing and able hands on deck. You understand? And what we mean by that is wherever you are at, for example, we're going to speak about Brother um, 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 Tobia uh, Tesferi, or Tobia Tesferi, and um, the Ways and Means Committee. In fact, we're establishing even um, certain committees. You understand? Committees or units. In fact, what we would ask one to do if they want to they wanna get a little more information. Many of y'all probably have already downloaded um, some of these documents. Hopefully you have and you have them. Say, um, you know, speak about the co-labor and getting the co the co-labor and you know we got like a list of uh, brothers and sisters. Some of y'all probably have you know been writing. A few of y'all have wrote, written um, several times. You know, um, even the brother um, Mandela. Heal up to Mandela, um, we received your communication, and um, y'all willing, you know, the, the, um, the kibbutz, the Rastafari kibbutz, and the farm, Lajikam, will be hopefully communicating with the eye um, shortly, so, you know, maintain, hold the faith, and hold the faith, my brother, I know. You know, different ones are, you know, we really start to minister with ones and you speak to the brothers and sisters, you understand? And it, it, it really is, not just a humbling, we, we, we seem to approach it humble already, but it's, it's, a, it's a sobering, that's the word right there. You understand? We already approach it in a to hoot, manifest, you understand? Or to hit, to hit to not, uh, 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 humility. Not humiliation. See, some would say, you're not being humble. While well, you're being humble, they want to humiliate you. That's a whole other word. You understand? But they sound similar in English. But they're, they're, they're different, very different in our afro shemitic language. So all hands on deck. We have to organize, right? We have to be organized to accomplish Jah's business. But it begins off, first of all, with that first witness, and that is the Spirit. That, that is the Spirit. You remember when, when John the Baptist, he saw some Pharisees coming to him and some of the other um, religious authorities? But you have to watch the religious, the quote-unquote religious authorities. But like in the time of Yeshua, they had totally um, um, misinterpreted the expectation. So when Yeshua came forward, only the spiritual were able to grasp it. 
many of the other people were looking to, well, what does the religious authority say? You understand? In other words, like, um, what does the other guy who reads the Bible say? Because I don't trust the spirit in myself to be able to read and learn this for myself. Or that one might tell you, you know, disempower you. You know, when they tell you, you don't have to look for the roots and words that's robbing you of your blessing. Because that's robbing you of the of the proper context of things. They're saying, I know this, but, but by what? You know what By what? By what do you know this? But let's get off of them and let's and let's and let's get into this um reasoning right here. So we have these two um you know, these are the same document. Well actually um I think one of them is okay, this is we updated it. That, that is the first one. And then we updated this particular um, document right here. Let's see if we can get a little bit of light on this. Yeah, this particular document right here. We call this the UCC. And it's I and I Universal Churchical Code. You understand? In other words, it stipulates or gives rather an overview of the order of the order of business. You understand of how the business or the administrative side of operations are to be done. And those who are willing and able, some folks have the time. Some folks are able to do it. In fact, we see so many folks on the Facebook, some might be at work or some might do work from their home or so forth and so on. And it's not to say you do this, you do that. That's not our not authorization. You understand? I now authorization this ministry and those who come forward. You understand? And it's, as it says, um, um, well, we'll try every spirit to see whether they are of Jah, of God or not, whether it conforms to the teaching of His Majesty. Because many false spirits, they can say Hansalati is God. They can say this. They can say that. You know, um, many people said Hosanna to Yeshua when he rode on that the donkey or, or jackass into Jerusalem. No, nothing with democracy there, but some could read that into it if they want to. But um, still, look, the same ones by the religious authorities, you understand, who had them in a spiritual bondage, convinced them or persuaded them to crucify our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. So this document right here, okay, this document you can you can check this out for yourself. It's called the Universal the Universal um, the Universal uh, Churchical Code. Um, the Universal Churchical Code, and it basically says, well, how is a basic um, suhuf bait uh, suhuf bait and suhuf mean writing? Um, Sihifet is also another Ethiopic word that means writing, and bait means a house, or it may be interpreted in this sense as like an office, really a, a square. It's basically a square in the sense of a building, not a adababai, uh, which is another sort of a square. Do you understand? And um, this is for the operation. So we're going to touch on an area of scripture. I want you to get your Bibles. Um, ready and then um, we also want ones and ones um, to, um, uh, to check out for themselves some of the ways and means you understand being proposed towards um, making money, getting some money. And remember, a lot of these things are not some of the things in our ways and means are things that are out there. But first, we want to teach on um, what the Word says, what Yeshua says concerning money. Because see what happens a lot of times, one say they're getting money and sometimes they get money through a lot of hard work and blood, sweat and sometimes tears. And then after they um, get this money because they in a sense got it the wrong way or with the wrong spirit, with the wrong psychology and probably doing the wrong things in body. You know what I'm there is a um, there's a consequence for that, and people say, "Well, what are you talking about?" I'm I'm just telling you an overview of what some of the prisoners 
some of the Rastafari prisoners and some of the other prisoners. So there's other prisoners who wasn't Rastafari, but who see the good work among the Rastafari, you know, and the growth and the spiritual confidence and the strength and, and that change that the Holy Spirit, you know, and that sonship, you know, saying? it's about that sonship, that S-O-N, sonship, all right, S-O-N, causes. So um, we need to organize, this is about organizing John's business. And we're going to speak on, um, so you can get some of the scriptures ready, and one can go over some of these things for themselves. We're going to speak on Deuteronomy 8 and 18, speaking on get well, in the sense of get money, right? Get money. Yes, the Bible, John says, to get money. But you have to get money from the right spirit, and in, other words, in the right spiritual consciousness. And said, because the Bible does say, as the next brethren reminded I, um, you know, he said, uh, you know, the Bible says money answers all things. Yes, money answers the Ecclesiastes. Money answers all things. But then the Bible also says that the love of money is the root of all evil, all kinds of evil. People say, I don't love money. I, I just need money. I just use money. So it's fun. You know, that's good to say, but most people don't know themselves. You see what I'm saying? You think you know yourself. That's why when somebody comes along and says something that you say, and no, it's not true, it upsets you. It upsets you. I mean, it upsets you at your core. Then how do you know that you're um, liking money so, 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 so very, 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 very much that it will stop you from talking to your brother or sister? Whether you are in the fall or they are in the fall. Remember, we're not talking about the world now. We're talking about in the kingdom. Or, or don't you know that when you become a son or a daughter of the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, that you've entered into the kingdom of heaven, seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You understand? Then all things shall be added. See, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God, if you study the context, some people say, oh, it's just a parable. Yes, it's just a parable. No, well, not just a parable. It is a parable. But it is multi the Bible is multi-layered. Some will try to tell you the Bible is just a parable. You understand? Then they'll contradict themselves with flock. They'll say, well, the Bible has parables in it. Well, does it have does a parable have parables in it? It's what you're trying to say. Stop trying to confuse John's children. You understand what you need to do is humble. Because watch out for being um, led, or rather, if it's a novice, you're not being led, you're being driven. You understand? Know watch out for being driven by a novice. You understand? Know at least you, as a follower, follower, will also end up under that, con that same condemnation. Why? A novice is a newcomer. You're still young to this. You're still new to this. I'm mean, not talking about age. You understand, we're talking about knowledge, well, first of all, spirit, right, wisdom, you understand, and also experientially, you understand, it's, it's, it's almost kind of, if it wasn't so serious, it would be comical, in a sense, and, and sometimes we've tried to laugh, but then, you know, the more we laugh, the more we can see how serious it is, and, and we're not going to cry, really, because, um, you know, that's not one of my sheep, you understand? But it potentially is the father's sheep. That's why we sought to restore such and such a one. But anyway, to get wealth, to get money, and Brother Tobia, you understand, you'll give thanks for that art. Check out what Tobia is doing, you understand? We're not saying um, one should um, get into it without checking it out, but from what I have checked out what he has also checked out. I think there's an opportunity for those who who have faith. You understand? For those who, who have who have faith. Not faith in a system or this or that, but first of all, check it out for yourself. We'll get into some of the detail. Because a lot of these things are not our own projects. But then the, the, the money that we use, the system is not our own. We're in the world but not of it. You remember when Christ said to the disciples they had to pay the toll, and he said, um, um, go in the fish's mouth on that side of the boat, and there was a coin, you understand? So there was money, you know what I mean? There was, there, 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 you know, there was money, and, and that wasn't really the, 
that the issue, well, it probably was the issue, and there are other parables, not parables, but other um, um, stories. You could interpret it parabolically, but you gotta be get careful on this extremism. See, someone is just trying to dumb down the Bible. You understand? But really, what they want to do is to hurt you spiritually. You understand? Because maybe they're already hurt. Maybe they're already. Remember, this is a, the diablo, the devil, takes people captive against their will. You understand? Against their will. And you go to parable, you know, the parable, the first couple of parables in Matthew's gospel. You understand? In Matthew's gospel, when it's about the sow and the seed. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom, you know what I'm saying, and doesn't understand it, you know what I'm saying, then the evil one come and snatch out that one's heart or consciousness that which was sown. You know what I'm saying? So when, when they are written, it's like what the Bible says in, in, in Revelation, it says, um, it says, remember your first love. At first I heard that and, you know, I think I, you know, I might have used it in a personal, you know, a lot of us use it in a personal way, you know, when we're still children. Like the Bible says, be children in wrath. You understand? So some of the things that someone, the ones have said or alleged, you, we try to be as a child in wrath, you understand? And not, you know, doing what we might have done or might have felt tempted to do. You understand? Whether on a spiritual level, whether on a psychical level, or whether even on a physical level. You understand? In the power of the Trinity. However, he says to be children in wrath, but not children in knowledge. And that means that there is, if we learn certain things and we grow in certain ways, there's a responsibility for that knowledge. There's an application. And the application might be so much as if you've learned the truth and know the truth and somebody says a lie, you speak up and say, yo, that's a lie. Not because so-and-so said it, so-and-so said it. Remember I said, if you know this truth for yourself, you declare it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy One, and the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? You declare it in the name of Yeshua HaMoshi. You declare it in the name of Getachin, Namen HaDetachin, Jesus Christos, the glory of Abba. You know what I'm The glory of Father. You know what I'm saying? Without no fear, no, no, no kind of phobia. You see, because the fear and the phobia is, is like the blessing turned retro, retrofitted, right, turned backwards. You know what I'm saying? One's got it backward. You know what I'm saying? One's got it wrong. And in this money, um, you know, in this money um, lesson, you know, we have to learn to look at money like toilet paper. You understand? For real. Why? You know, because we always got a lot of shit to do. You know what I mean? We, you know, I mean, people are like, oh, somebody's offended. Those who are offended, you know, they see money as being like, like a dear friend like a lover, you understand, you know, like somebody that they can love, like somebody, that's why they sort of like something, that's why the word says that money answereth what, all things, all things, you understand, so the situation is we are in the world, but not of the world, and I think that's been a very challenging for Rastafari, you understand, for us, um, children of the King of Kings, in and through His Christ, our big brother, the firstborn, the only begotten, the Shuba Habushi. It's been very challenging for us. And part of the challenge is because of this, this, this failure to accept Edomawi Kaila Shalase at His word. We'll repeat it because the speech is even just, just as far as just the English translation language is just beautiful. I mean, you know what I mean? You know, I mean, it's almost like irresistible that you have to say that, that John is wonderful, his counsel is wow, wonderful. That's the first time I think. But now, say you to do the will. And why some people's growth is stuck, or we, we hear these stories um, from someone to one, sometimes it's concerned um, brothers and sisters, sometimes it's concerned family members. That say, yes, I've checked your workout, I've checked out what you put out. I think it's very important, I've learned a lot. But my um, so-and-so and so-and-so here, all they do is just sit down and read the Bible all the time and just, they don't do nothing else. They're fanatic, they're drunk. You need to sober up. You're drunk. 
What do you think? You think people say, I wish I was there with you where I saw his daughter that she would be? What, what do you think? We're going to be reading the Bible all day. You know what I'm saying? Just reading the Bible. No, there's real work to be done. See, we read and study the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? So that his Holy Spirit may guide us. You know what I'm saying? We may be led by the Holy Spirit and we may be overcome. It's not just to read it so we can walk around, oh, don't do this. Rash I got it, says such and such and such. I know that's going to bother some of you because I wanted to. Because you're using me like almost like a scapegoat, like an alibi. You understand? Know you know, when Ross I got it, says such and such. Well, that means you really don't accept it as truth. You, you know the psalm, you know where it says, we just went over it um, um, in, 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 in one of the previous lessons. Um, where it says, and I believe, you understand, or I admit it, I amend, so I spoke. You understand? And all glory should be to John. All glory, you understand, firstly and foremostly to God the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. And then with our brothers and sisters, we give, there's an order. And one will say, well, how come we ain't being blessed? You know, I mean, we hear about it, but when is that going to happen? Because one is out of order. You know, it's like it's like we play ball, American um, football, right? And I'm the quarterback, right? And I'm throwing the ball. And we already went, we already discussed the play. You understand? I say, um, make sure, you know, you know, you, you know how they, they draw the X and circles. So you're going to go over here, I'm going to move over here, blah, 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 blah. So it was like, he's like, yeah, okay, yeah, good, right? And then. You over there talking to a gal, uh, you know, you over there talking to a boy, you understand? I mean, and he's not even one of our boys. Ain't that something? She's not even one of our sisters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so now I'm getting the concussion, you know, kind of holding the ball. We're discuss the move. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and you're supposed to be running block or defense or whatever. So I'm getting the concussion, and, you know. It kind of remind me of years ago, I used to like to watch the Dallas Cowboys. And I forget that that guy, he was kind of like had a receding hairline, whatever. But I remember he was the quarterback. And I used to watch, really be into football and everything growing up. You know, I was like pretend, you know, like a lot of youths, you know, men, males would do. And I, I, I thought that stood out was, why was they always, it's like the guys on the team were jealous of him. <laughs> Right, and they would allow the 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 um the opposition parts. You know, I'm not all into all the names of that. I could tell you about the real things. But anyway, they would allow the uh, opponent team to to give him a concussion. I remember they had to take him off the field. I think he was benched. I don't know what happened to him, but you know. And years later, the Holy Spirit said, trying to explain something to me. It reminded me about that. You know, one has the ball. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just I, it's I in this regard, in this stewardship and administration, but there are also other, um, let's call them sites or locations where brothers and sisters either have already started sort of the Rastafari orientated, grounded operations, some of them seeking to fellowship with I and I and what they've already been doing in John A. Others are starting it up fresh. Some want to start it up as a as a um, as a fellowship or even a some sort of a subsidiary receiving credit from I and I. And credit means uh, may you know credo, may credo, or we we'll say believe. You understand? But that credit from I and I to start a some operation where they're at, and the brothers and the sisters, and in some cases I'm going to have to reverse it, the sisters and the brothers. Because you know the sisters, wow, <laughs> you sisters got something. Let's say sisters of faith. I, I, I mean, just so true, squared, rounded, and, and and maybe even rounded, but faith. You know, even on the spiritual world, even the spiritual. Um, I mean, wow. I remember reading one time a, a Rastaman um text. Um, we probably have it. We need to scan it, put it up there where it says that. Um, like. Um, one, one can't stand a righteous woman's review, a righteous daughter's review. You know, just if one is in error, you understand, one is in error, cannot stand up against a righteous daughter's review. Well, you know what a righteous daughter is? A righteous daughter, a daughter who is righteous, she knows that the Abba, the Father of our black Lord and Savior, Shua HaMoshiach, 
is her Lord, and He is the one who has who, who is that righteousness. She has received righteousness from Him. Same way for righteous brother. It's not about well, I do this. I'm righteous. Yes, that's righteous because you wear the the khaki. You know, when you wear your time like that, that's righteous. That's that's spiritually speaking. That is that is that's idiocy. That's foolishness. That's foolishness. And yes, we all have done foolishness when we were children. But now the time and even the signs of the time is big and I night to grow up. Yo, sense get all hands on deck. Yo, sense and 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 play one's one's called role. I say call because it's not for me to say. Um, you say, oh, Ron, uh, what should I do? What's your name again? You know, I mean, I mean, for real, it's like, what, 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 what I mean, what should you do? Have you head rested with Ja? You understand? I mean, what does Ja, what does Ja's spirit say to you? And and then the, the Holy Spirit basically let me know that you, I, I wasn't maybe at that, those times preaching, teaching them on receiving the Holy Spirit. So some were like those um, followers of um, John the Baptist, where they didn't even know that there was such a thing as the Holy Spirit. This, wow. You understand that, that you had ones that were... This is it, 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 it over here. I got to share this with you. So this is, this is kind of like the overview. They want to get into um, some, some, some direct lessons on it. This is just for us to, 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 to say it's now the past time, really. Really, but, but it's, it's today. Today is still today is still today. You understand? Today, if you will hear His voice. Today, if you would hear the, the the voice of the Spirit. You understand? Which is His voice. Harden not your heart. You understand? One getting caught up on 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 real um. You know, one's getting caught up on real uh uh uh, uh, uh silliness. You know, saying, you know, real and wasting. I was, well, they're wasting their time. And we've been trying to tell them they're wasting their time, so they want to waste our time. As, you know, they want to waste our time as, as well. Well, we'll get into that portion right there. Um, yeah, because they were like, we didn't even know that there was such a thing called the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? And it's like some of those senses. John the Baptist is likened to, or, or Marcus Garvey is likened to John the Baptist, then many of those who've been Marcus Garveyite, there's some things that they just don't know, because if they're Marcus Garveyite, you understand, then they're, they're not really in his majesty. You know, we cannot have two, two, two masters, you understand. See, that's the hierarchy. There's a hierarchy for blessing. You know, and there's a hierarchy for blessing, and we're outside that hierarchy. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not in the right place, you know, it's like the, the in the in the whole Olympics. You seen the whole Olympics in the whole Olympics, right? Um, when they had the baton pass, so they pass the baton from one to the next in the whole Olympics. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm running it. Anyway, they pass the baton, but if the person is not there. To receive it, you know, you get, you know, at the at, at the proper place and time. You, you see what I'm saying? It's like we'd be calling ones, ones call us, and sometimes the the I'm, I might move around, they might move around on the cell phone. The calls drop. You understand? Know because it, it, the connection cannot be made, and a lot of that, too much of that, has been going on. There is too much idol idleness. You understand? And on a certain level, words sound power with the English Latin language. That is like idolatry. You understand? Idolatry. You understand? That's idolatry. You know, with one who say, yes, I'm reading my Bible. Okay, you're reading your Bible. So, so, what does the Holy Spirit say what you need to do? You understand? We need to get all hands on deck. You understand? We're going to discuss um, how, how to go about it. So, right now, the UCC, our universal, there's the other UCC too in, in, in the world, right? Um, the UCC, download it, you understand? Take a look at it. You know, download it, print it out. How many pages is it? One, two, three, 
about four, it's about four pages, right? And it basically speaks about how office, like the, the office, the administration, you understand, the, the local stewardship, right? And, and the root of the word bamarinya, stewardship, is megabinet. Now, megabinet in our father's language, the pure language, it means feedingness. Feeding, Megabi, like a feeder, one who feeds. You understand? One who provides food. And we're speaking about spiritual food. You understand? We're speaking about soul food. You understand? Not the soul food, that soul food, but food for our soul, right? And also, we're speaking about physical food for our body. Remember Christ? He came forward and he says, um, 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 feed me. You know, I'm hungry. My friend, you have anything to eat? And Yeshua is real. You understand? He is real and he is the template for the truth. Beta Israel, whom I and I am. So download this, print it out. Um, those brothers and sisters who could break down, um, you know, the prisoners, the prisoners' ministry is also another, um, another very important aspect because some of y'all are actually in the states or near the states where many of these ones and ones are. And, you know, we have been, you know, um, I mean, beyond reason, it's on the grace of grace of God that is, that is getting us through this, you know, with the lack of resources, with the lack of, of, of support systems, you know, we're staying in other states, you know, other coordination, you know, and then the Holy Spirit says that I am or I will be, I am at fault in this sense, that I am not charging others, you know, saying, with their proper responsibility. If they sink or swim, you know, saying, that is that depends on their own faith. Even Peter walked on the water, you know, saying, the wind blew, and he paid more attention to the wind than to, than to Yeshua, and he began to sink a little bit, and he called out, and he still was saved, and that teaches us something as well, too. And then in some other areas, and we're not going to necessarily name any names right now, we have sisters and brothers, um, a few, not many, but a few, you know, um, going through just, 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 just over money, money kind of stuff. You understand? Money kind of stuff. So we have to know how to manage errors, errors that come up in the body of Christ. You know, and how do we manage it? Like, some will say, well, um, Ross, okay, I love my brother and my sister, but suppose they keep doing this and I keep telling them about it. <laughs> what do I do? Yeshua gives some good advice, you know, as far as that is, as that is concerned, because that is, how do we, how do we, in a sense, I don't want to use the word police ourselves, but how do we maintain law and order? in our own fellowship, in our own community. And I, I actually went to get this um, this area of scripture um, for you, which actually um, speaks to, um, you know, what we are, you know, what we are to do in uh, such a situation. I got, I, I got much to bring to the high on this subject matter, so. Um, let me just get some other notes and other things together, and um, stay tuned. Shalom, Ras Tafari. Watch and pray, pray and work. Shalom.